crystal ball, crystal ball. Tell me everything I need to know about truck driving. Oh, <laughs> hey guys, it's Dean. i um, here to do another video with ET Transport. First off, I wanna tell you guys that I read through those last comments and I really appreciate the, the backup. That, that was awesome. I'm actually petrified of reading any of the comments on this. Uh, might not even look at them. <laughs> Anyways, today we're here to talk about what I have learned over 25 years of truck driving. There's so much information, but I'm going to try to give you guys probably like a top 10 bullet points of what I've learned. If you guys are just getting into truck driving, if this is a new thing for you guys, I hope that you learned something from this. Everything I'm talking about is just my view on it. And uh, I definitely don't know everything. If you're a veteran truck driver, you've been in this business, a lot of you guys been in it a lot longer than I have. Uh, you can really relate to a lot of the things that I'm saying. Or, uh, you know, in the comments below, feel free to blast in a few more things. You know, I'm sure that everybody that's reading or reads the comments is uh, going to appreciate everything that's, that's said on there. So how did I get into this industry? Uh, how did my career begin as a truck driver? It actually didn't. I, I started uh, with shipping receiving. I had done a lot of things in the past before that. Then I got into shipping receiving and I was on the forklift and loading the trucks and uh, I loved everything about them. I, I loved watching the big rigs pull in and uh, talking to the drivers and hearing some of their experiences. You know, I, I, I was lucky in my career where a lot of the drivers would just come and hand me the keys to, to their trucks and say, anybody can drive a truck forward. It's learning to back in some of these tight spots. You're going to get out there and it's, it's a lot different when you're out on the road. So I got lucky. I started shunting trailers into, uh, into dock doors and uh, that helped a lot. You know, one of the first jobs you're going to have is going to be over the road. It's awesome. It's one of the best things I think that I, I got to do. I got to see places that I'll probably never see again. You're in the elements, you're going from hot to cold mountains to flat roads uh, you're all over the place you will learn a lot what did i learn i've learned you know what probably some of the most important things i've learned in this industry is number one you gotta you gotta love what you do if you take it on as a lifestyle instead of uh looking at it as a job you're gonna go a lot further in this industry having that camaraderie with other drivers and enjoying what you do out there talking to people learning things I've done most jobs in uh, in truck driving, uh, everything from being a truck driver to management end of it, uh, dispatch, safety and compliance. I think it really uh, opened my eyes. Sometimes us, us drivers are out there and we see what the managers are throwing at us or the dispatchers are throwing at us. A lot of them, they don't know what we go through out on the road. Uh, you know, they, they want you to go, 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 go. Where the heck is that driver? My God, what's taking them so long? Oh, hey guys. One thing you want to remember about a dispatcher is that he or she can make your life wonderful or they can make it a living hell. You know, their job is hard too. Uh, our job is hard out on the road. Their job is hard too. They got phone calls coming in. They got customers that want their materials. Um, you know, we're in traffic jams and stuff and they're trying to make up excuses for why we're not there. These dispatchers have a lot on their minds. You guys want to have a really good working relationship. It's really important that you guys communicate together as much as possible. If you're running late, pick up that phone and phone your dispatcher and let them know that I'm running behind. Um, you know, I'm not going to be to this job on, on time. Can you please phone the, the client and let them know that, uh, you know, I'm going to be a few minutes late. Dispatchers want to be the person that makes the phone call, not the person that gets the phone call. So anyways, we're not supposed to be here right now, so let's get the heck out of here before the actual dispatcher comes back here and uh, slaps my hand. Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, point number two, professional attitude. Representing the company that you're working for, somebody like ET Transport, you know, you're driving around, you got that name written all over the side of the truck. It's on the bills. You have to represent that company that you're with. And it doesn't matter who you're working for. You might have had a bad day the night before, or maybe you stayed out a little bit too late, but uh, you know, you still got to represent. So you don't want to be known as that cranky truck driver, you know, the, or the one that thinks he knows it all, or the man, that guy should take a shower someday. You know, like you don't want to be that guy. Be professional. Planning, definitely plan, plan, plan for everything you're gonna do. 
you want to be prepared. When you leave the yard, you get out on the road, uh, there's going to be cars, there's traffic, and now you need to know where you're going. You know, you didn't put anything in your GPS. You didn't look ahead to see where these roads are or if there's any closures, if there's uh, traffic on the highways. You know, you, you've left with just enough time to get where you got to go and the worst happens, you show up and the highway shut down. And I've had it happen many times to me, you know, you, they send you down a city street or something like that and, you know, you can't make a left turn here or you can't make a right turn there. When you're in a 70 foot transport, you can't just turn around. It's uh, now you're putting yourself at risk of getting tickets, fines. So planning ahead is imperative. It's uh, if we want to do this job properly, you got to know where you're going and you have to be ready for all the obstacles that are going to be out there. How dangerous is it being in a truck or how dangerous is my job? My God, you, it is, you are driving metal death. You, anything can change in a split second. Uh, a car cuts you off, uh, a deer runs out in front of you, ice falls off the top of a truck. You are at danger at all time. We learned to pull on that spike and get out of the truck and, uh, you know, go back and you can check behind you or something. No, you don't want to do that, right? Like uh, that spike could pop off and you, how many times do you actually hear about it? Like it happens a lot more than you would ever think where the truck rolls back, the trailer spike uh, pops back off, the guy's behind the truck and crushes himself between a, a trailer and a dock door. You know, it's it's taking that easy route instead of doing things the way they're supposed to be done. Pull on that brake, make sure all the safety things are in in uh, in place before you do these things. It only takes one split second taking your eyes off the road and uh, lives change forever. Okay, number five, relationships and truck driving. Oh, I love you, baby. Yes. Oh, hey guys. Oh, you know what? I can tell you one thing. You are going to spend more time with this girl than you ever will with your own. You know, you need to make sure that if this is the career that you're choosing, this is what you want to do. It's going to put a huge strain on any relationship you're in. You're not going to be around like you used to be. Now you have a relationship that is strictly over a phone and uh, that takes its toll. You miss out on things. You're going to miss out on on baseball games. You know, if you have kids, you're going to miss out on their sports. And anything that's good in that relationship, at one point or another, you're going to miss it. Be prepared. Don't expect to get rich at this. This is not one of the things where you're going to get into truck driving and uh, I got my, you know, my first driving gig and hey, I'm going to make a million dollars at this. It, uh, you're going to work your ass off. Being a truck driver, People just see that truck on the road and think, oh man, it must be a great to just have to sit inside that truck and, you know, make money. But it, it's not an easy gig. It's a, it's, it's a hard job. Uh, don't expect to get rich overnight doing it. You won't. You want the money, you got to put in the time, you got to put in the, the miles. Just be prepared for that. Never be afraid to ask questions. Talk to people that have been in this business for a while and uh, ask their, their opinions on things or their advice on doing different things. Um, it's going to save you a lot in the end. Uh, your hardships are, it's going to happen. You're going to run into different obstacles that you don't know and you get there and you get a problem solved right away. But the more that you're, you're, you're open to learning from other people, uh, the better your career is going to go. You know, never stop learning, never stop asking questions. And number eight, mechanical skills, learning different skills of the trade, you know, learning how to change a light bulb, learning how to. Uh, fix an airline, you know, how to cage a set of brakes. Oh, geez, the list, you, you, we go on for hours on just uh, the different components of trucks that that uh, emergency fixes and stuff that's going to get you off the road. It's what's going to leave you on the side of the highway and what's going to get you off that highway. Knowing some of the mechanical stuff on the truck and being able to, you know, having a set of tools with you and these things are going to save you a lot of time on the road. I would say number nine would be definitely putting safety first. I said it before, expect the unexpected, but when you're getting on and off a trailer, don't just jump off that trailer. When you're getting onto a trailer or opening a, a set of doors on, on a, you know, the barn doors on the back of a, of a van trailer, you've been driving down the road there. You don't know what the cargo is. If, if you weren't part of the loading process and stuff like that, you could open up that door. A load could have shifted back. 
you just fire those doors open and a skid falls out on top of you. You know, like if you're filling a tire up or something, you know, stand back a little bit as you're filling that tire, stand off to the side. You don't know that tire has got a weak spot and that tire is gonna blow on you. I've learned the hard way, you know, I didn't want to wear the hard hat. I wanted to be the cool guy out on, on the job site and uh, no hard hat on pulling a, pulling a strap back over top of the truck and smack you get the chain in the head, you know, it, it don't tickle. <laughs> so uh, be safe. And number 10, it's a lonely job. It is a very, very lonely job. You are in that truck by yourself. Nobody else around to talk to, you know, and uh, the CBs aren't what they used to be. We talked about it last time, a lot of the guys just, all they do is cause ruckus on the, on the CBs. So you don't even have that. So you're sitting inside that truck, you got you and your stereo. So I hope you like music <laughs> or podcasts. You're lucky now you got podcasts. You can listen to somebody talk to you, but uh, try to have fun with it. You know, it's a, it's a rewarding job. You're going to meet great people everywhere you go. You're going to see things that you never thought you were going to see before. Countrysides that, my God, you could go look in your whole life and never end up on one of those roads and all of a sudden you're there. So it's, uh, it's just rewarding. It's something that you're going to love doing that if you, if you enjoy it, then hey, you know what? I enjoy your time on the road. It's like I said, I probably missed out on a million different things. This camera is making me nervous as hell. So <laughs> leave stuff in the comments. Uh, you seasons drivers, leave it on there. You new guys out there that are just new to this, you know what, give it a chance, love it. And uh, and it's gonna love you back. I have somebody on the other side of this uh, camera over there that is gonna tell me that I better tell you guys to like this stuff, subscribe to the channel. You're gonna learn lots on here. Everything I've watched on ET's uh, videos is just, it, it's off the hook. It's, it's great stuff, really good information. Always remember, keep that shiny side up and the rubber side down. Take care.